I have a fresh message for you, brothers and sisters. This message is run ahead of the crowd. Brothers and sisters, do not, be, do not get confused in the crowd. Do not follow the crowd. Because when you follow the crowd, the crowd will lead you to a place of no return. Notice that the road that leads to hell is wide. That road to hell is where a lot of people will go. A lot of people follow things that they have no idea of. But the road that leads to heaven is narrow. So choose the narrow road. Do not go up to a trend when there's a trend that is happening in this world. Do not just uh, jump onto that trend. Investigate. What is the motive behind that trend? What is the motive behind uh, that thing which people desire to have? Remember, the world loves the things of the world. People of the world will accept the things of the world. And when the things are not of the world, they will reject it. So whenever you see a lot of people gathering in a certain thing, question it. Question it. Do not just jump onto that thing without knowing. Move by the Spirit. May God give you the Spirit of discernment so that you are able to discern these spirits. Because not every spirit that comes to you is from God. There are some spirits that are spirits of deception. There are spirits to lead you astray. So be very careful. Don't follow the crowd. Don't follow the crowd. Because the crowd will block you from your blessing. They will block your breakthrough. Because the more you walk with them, they will cast a shadow. And that shadow will make you not see the light. Today's word is from the book of Luke chapter 19 verse 1 to 10. Luke chapter 19 verse 1 to 10. And it reads, Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but, the, but could not because of the crowd. For he was of a short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass by that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. The Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. This story is a man of a man of, by the name of Zacchaeus, that he was shot by statue, and he desired to see Jesus. He wanted to see who Jesus was. He had heard of Jesus, but he had never seen Jesus physically. He had never had an encounter with Jesus. But the problem, Zacchaeus has to, had two problems. One of the problems, he was of his physical inability. He was short in stature. The other problem was the crowd. He was short and he could not see Jesus because the crowd was in front of him. Brothers and sisters, when I started this message, I said, run ahead of the crowd. 
Because there are things that you will never see clearly if the crowd is in front of you. If you are a people follower, people pleaser, if you are the person that follows trends, there are things that you are not going to see. You will see just what is in front of you. That's the, the, the crowd. But ahead of the crowd, you will see nothing. Zacchaeus knew this aspect. He knew this truth. So what did he do? Scripture said, so he, he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was going to pass that way. Zacchaeus knew that Jesus is going to pass that way. He had followed. He knew that Jesus will pass this direction. So he ran ahead of them. He was a fast forward thinker. He was calculative. He ran ahead of the crowd and he climbed a sycamore tree. Some of you, there is a sycamore tree ahead of you. And God wants you to climb it. God does not want you to be afraid of it. He wants you to move by faith and climb that sycamore tree. Run ahead of the crowd. Don't allow the crowd to limit you. It is interesting that when Zacchaeus received Jesus in his house, the crowd, the people, started speaking all sorts of funny words. That he has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. They spoke all these words against Jesus. They did not have an understanding of Jesus, who Jesus was. That Jesus did not come for the perfect. Jesus did not come for the righteous. Because remember, your righteousness will never take you to heaven. It is the righteousness of Jesus that you must receive. He came for the sinner. Some of you think that you are beyond saving. But you are not terrible than what Zacchaeus was. Some of you have lived into condemnation. Yes, I know you have fallen down. You have gotten into all sorts of funny things. But Jesus can still save you. So my word to you tonight is to run ahead of the crowd. Don't follow what everyone is doing. Choose to say today, it is over. Enough is enough. The affliction is enough. The bondage is enough. Choose to run ahead of the crowd and you'll be victorious. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of this message. If this ministry has been a blessing to you and you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my PayPal account, which is in the link in the description. And God will bless you. Until next time, Shalom.